All right, so I'm going to start out part two sooner than I thought. The armor battle is actually getting more and more intense here. So I can test out some actual bona fide arty. Arty mean artillery. I wish the bullet drop were just a, you know, more pronounced. That way it could be an actual artillery cannon. But, you know. What's up? What's up with you? Ooh, there's our guy right there. For the ram. He dies first, but I'm going to go right after him. So it is turned out to be a pretty useful weapon up close. But I really want to test it at length because I think there's some good combined arm stuff that we can do with it if we can standardize our usage long range we'll see though lots of air going on up there Oof, just killed you my friend all right I'm gonna go the longer way around looks like there's already a vanguard there See if I can shoot over his head. But I missed. Okay, so he's down. Got him. <laughs> oh, it didn't kill him. What? All right, it's pop shield time. Let's fight. Let's fight. Fight me. Come on. Think you got what it takes? I'm going to kill you first. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Oh, we died. Well, so there's quite a bit of armor fighting going on here. This is going to be good. But the air is here strong. So let's redeploy. Oh, nice. King snakes are representing. All right, so I have enough to pull another. And there's still enough, still enough air to justify a trawler with the flex to, whoa, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. That was pretty close, huh? That, Valk, all right. There is, that is so much air. I have flanker on, so that's helping right now. So we know the prowlers are over here somewhere. There's one, there's a Sunday. Oof. Let's get the lightning first. He doesn't look like he's awake. Palisade on top. I think the palisade's kind of cool. Let's kill this Sunday, though. Dang. That air is just intense. I don't have to pull another. One more, but I have to pull it manually is below the 360 yeah that's all right but if i pull it from there i'm gonna get destroyed so let's pull it from over here it's quite a bit of armor and air going on so this might work out well We have enough air support that I think I can 
get away with the halberd this time. I'll still keep my flanker though. Give my gunner some more, more oomph. I tested this one out, the Chimera. It it is, it is intense, man. That thing is like a sniper rifle. It's pretty funny. All right, let's see if we can find some trouble. So third person close quarters seems very unreliable. I probably need to be in first person to shoot close quarters. You can go to get around me if you want. I don't advise it. But if you think you know what you're doing, let me go first, buddy. You know what? I'll let you be the bullet soaker. Let you soak up all that damage. I'm just gonna turn on my headlights and make sure that you're fully illuminated, huh? <laughs> hmm. See if I can't get up. Ooh. Ouch. Okay, so let's turn this off and GTFO. Man, we're getting hit so bad. Looks like that anti air does not turn out to be a good idea. See that? Okay, that did kill him. One shot. Gosh darn it, man. Getting hit pretty hard. This is not hurt. This is not helping. I'm just gonna have to zigzag my way out and hope that I get. Nope. Damn. The air is just too much. Looks like our anti-air didn't do much for us. I have enough to pull another. And looks like I can pull it from... Dang. That air is all over us. So as you can see, the Vanguard is not a god. And this is why I have my doubts about its use close quarters. In in onesie twosies fights like this, okay, seems to be fair. But I think in larger battles, it's just it's not going to not gonna hold up. Alright, here we go. This is the test. I've gotta be able to get my arc high enough. He pulled back before I could really do much. Dang, that... The dimensions between... Scoped and no scoped... Is... Is intense. I need to be able to see him close up, but... Look, look at that arc, though, when I'm in third person. See how the tick marks are just through the roof. So let's target top of that mountain right there. Whoa. What we got going on over there? Who are you? Okay, there, that's the prowler. Make him choke up a little bit. I got some friendly NGs. Kill that from my, my friend. All right, I think I can hit him. Just right there. Ooh, Prowler. Nice. Pop my shield. And let's heal up. Got lots of friends over here helping. Okay. So this is going to be the test. This is, right now, this is beyond line of sight. Meaning I can't see him. But I can shoot over. And this is what I wanted to test. Oh. That's not that's not what I wanted. I need you to move out of the way, my buddy. Okay, so I need to go up a little bit more.
All right, so I'm trying to hit him. All right, it's a little bit lower. Looks like a flail. This to me is what I imagined the Vanguard would be good at. The, uh, the JGX, I mean, on the Vanguard. I could shoot. Nice. What he didn't know, though, is I had on... I have flanker on, so that helps with C4. Okay. But I'm having trouble sighting in, although I'm really still very new to this weapon. So I need to be able to go middle tree. Okay, so that didn't do it. But he's able to hit me. So I need to do that. Let me back up. Above the tree. Got him. All right. So it's almost like... Two ticks. Almost. And what I'm doing is I'm imagining tick marks. So you can see one, two ticks below my crosshairs. That's when I'm two tick marks. Maybe two and a half. Ouch. Gosh darn light assaults, man. To do that pop jump thing. All right, two ticks right there. He's gonna two ticks again. That's not two ticks. So the bullet arc is a little bit. Uh, light assault game is strong right now. I think I can work with it. I think I can make it work. But I need to science it, which means for us, you go into VR room and then you start sighting in. And that will take quite a bit of time. And I'm probably, you know what? I might as well do a part three and kind of science out how how to science things <laughs> in armor because there's a pretty clear way to get it done i like the handle the way third person handles itself i like it but i just haven't figured it out yet i, I think there's a way to do it though Okay, so let's say, oh, got him. All right, so that was two, but not close enough. Two tick marks above, so let's try four and a half. There's that light assault again. They're using that EMP pop thing, I think. Oh, there's a lot of infantry over there. Let's see if I can shell them. Up a little bit higher. A little bit higher. A little lower. This to me is what this gun is made for. Long range artillery. The beyond line of sight thing can tell there's just there's a lot to it. I have to figure out to it's almost gonna be like a niche weapon, in my opinion. So that's what's starting to turn out to be is niche. Not a bad thing, just uh, I wish that the bullet drop was more severe and that I could fire f more up into the air and that bullet arc would be more predictable and where it goes down. That would make it a true SPG, with this, which is a self-propelled gun. That's what already is, is an SPG. So like if you're going World of Tanks, SPG style, then that, that's really what you would do. I don't think we would we could use, well, maybe that'd be cool if we could use the map for targeting, like in World of Tanks, but I don't think it's required. Woof, woof, woof. Hey, hold on there. 
pop my shield because I got a little got a little sensitive about that. Oh gosh. He didn't realize that I had a flanker. <laughs> flanker does help against one C4. But last night I was just getting destroyed with these flash C4s that just came up out of nowhere and killed us. Killed me. Didn't have a gunner either. Rep buses are very helpful. Thank you for the repping. Orc. Wubba dub dub. Shout out. He's got a walker on. That's helpful. So two rep buses. All right. So let's see what we got. Can I get him? No, oh, so that's four tick marks. Oh, three and a half. Two? One? Oh, I was on third per uh, first person zoomed. Okay. See the the distortions for these tick marks are hugely distorted when you're in third or first person zoom versus first person non zoom. I tend to think that the first person non zoom is a little bit better, but you can't get past the zoom actual portion of being able to see a little bit closer. I feel like I'm a little bit too far away to be able to sight in correctly, but I feel more accurate, which is kind of kind of an odd thing. So that was uh, an underwhelming performance for the arty. That exchanging of fire beyond line of sight, I see potential, but it's just not it's not there yet. So I probably need to do a part three for sciencing this thing. And that's probably where I'll end it because the fight scenes have tapered off here. All right, part two. I got to do a little bit more beyond line of sight and more to come.